Hello and welcome to a special holiday edition of Kitchen Corrections. Um, guys, uh, it, uh, you're, you're actually supposed to do is... Uh, uh, actually, uh, that's not how you were uh, supposed to do it. It's a segment in which I go after prominent YouTube chefs and um, correcting the little oopsies they might have made. So, who's the holiday dumbass who almost ruined Christmas? Me. I'm correcting myself. I'll explain in a moment. Roll intro. I'm gonna be correcting myself, specifically my old eggnog panna cotta video. It was so uninspired and lazy and to tell you the truth, it was a last minute decision. I mean, I don't want to be too hard on myself. I just started this channel a few months prior. But you know what, that does not excuse the fact that I made a really lousy dessert. Hell, I didn't even watch my video prior to filming because I know it's that bad. Um, I will be taking a look at it in post-production, so hopefully I'll be able to handle it. And since Christmas is all about the season of giving, I'm giving you a proper, from scratch, eggnog panna cotta. Let's begin. Now to begin, grab yourself one quart or four cups of heavy whipping cream. And add it to a two quart sauce pot. Wait, 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 wait. Let's pour about a quarter cup into a small container. Set this aside. Then add the rest to our pot. Now, unless you're a total soulless buzzkill who never felt happiness once in his miserable life, you'd know that panna cotta is a gelatin dessert. And for this, you'll need two envelopes worth of gelatin. Now, the cooking snobs are probably getting their J. Crew branded dress pants in a knot because I'm using powdered gelatin and not gelatin sheets. Listen, Sheet gelatin is a little bit more hard to come by and it's much more complicated to use. This is available in every major supermarket. At the end of the day, it does the same thing. This is just easier. So take our two envelopes of gelatin and add it to the separate cup of cream we set aside. And stir our gelatin into our cream and uh, let this bloom for 10 minutes. This process is called blooming the gelatin. If we were just to add this straight to our pot, it would integrate poorly and you'll end up with some inconsistent gloppy crunchy mess. So while our powdered animal connective tissue rehydrates, let's get to the star of the show, the panna cotta. So to our pot of cream, let's add one cinnamon stick one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And lastly, one vanilla bean. Now you can use regular vanilla extract, but I wanna go extra gourmet and use vanilla bean. You can get these pretty cheaply at Costco. Puncture down in the middle like this. Grab the other end of the bean and pull it towards you. And just kind of use your finger as a guide. All right, now let's go the other way. Using the dull side, scrape out the insides. And add everything, pods and insides, to our pot. And uh, let's bring this to a boil over medium-high heat. Oh, almost forgot. Let's add one cup of sugar to our pot. Mix it in and make sure it's nice and dissolved. Okay, our gelatin is nice and bloomed, so let's add it to our pot. All right, mix it in, make sure it's nice and dissolved. All right, our gelatin has dissolved. I don't see any signs of unmelted gelatin. Kill the heat. 
Okay, our panna cotta is almost ready, but before we pour into our mold, we need to take care of something. Eggnog is made with duh eggs. And as a result, eggnog has a yellowish tinge to it. And since there are no chicken embryos in here, it's not yellow. So let's fix that. Let's add a few drops of yellow food coloring. Ah, now that looks more like eggnog. All right, grab a silicone mold and uh, make sure you put it on something hard and sturdy like a plastic cutting board. Otherwise, you're gonna spill it everywhere and you're gonna be a bigger Christmas ruiner than the Grinch. Uh, not the actual Grinch. I mean the Illumination animated movie, The Grinch. Uh, I don't have high hopes for the Mario movie. Well, this joke doesn't work anymore. All right, let's ladle in our cream. And carefully put this in the fridge so it can harden overnight. And like I said, let it cool overnight. Okay, and after a night in the fridge, it should be nice, firm, and jiggly. Can have this plane by yourself. But that's like gifting a $30 gift card to Target to someone. It's okay, but you know you could have done better. And here's how we fancify it. Let's drizzle on some sweetened condensed milk. Make sure it's not from that company that profits off child slavery in Africa. And drizzle it all over our panna cotta. And finally, a light dusting of cinnamon. And Merry Christmas to me. Just like that, my, just like, and just like that, our eggnog panna cotta and my Christmas redemption arc is done. And thank God the original video didn't go viral. I mean, forget my Von Du video. You should have sent me death threats over the original. Side note, don't send me death threats over the original. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, and, and listen, YouTube, don't demonetize. Look, clean, even, and no red stuff.